Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for bromine trichloride. So here we go. It's going to be BrCl3 for bromine trichloride. And that's going to give us 7 valence electrons from the bromine plus 3 chlorines each with 7 valence electrons of their own for a total of 28 valence electrons. Okay? And we can go ahead and subtract out the largest multiple of 8, which is in this case going to be 24, which leaves us with 4 electrons remaining, and divide that by 2 to give us 2 non-bonding pairs. And since 24 is equal to 8 times 3, that means that bromine trichloride is going to be an AX3 E2 structure, meaning there's a central atom surrounded by three peripheral atoms with two non-bonding pairs of electrons located on the central atom. All right, so let's go ahead and draw this structure. We have the bromine in the center surrounded by the three chlorines. We can go ahead and single bond all of the chlorines to the central bromine and then fill in the octets on each of the peripheral chlorines. Okay, and then we also have to add on these two non-bonding pairs of electrons. So we can put one of those pairs here and one of those pairs here. And that should be our final structure. Let's go ahead and verify that by checking the formal charges. So the formal charge on the bromine in the center is going to be the seven valence electrons brought in minus one, two, three bonds minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of zero and then the formal charge on each of the chlorines and if you notice they all have the same setup but the single bond and six non-bonding electrons on each chlorine so their formal charges will all be the same it's uh, seven valence electrons brought in minus like I said one single bond on each chlorine minus two four six non-bonding electrons on each chlorine which also gives you a formal charge of zero multiply that by three because there are one two three of those chlorines add all that up it gives you a zero overall formal charge which is what we need because this is a non-charged uh, compound all right um, now in terms of shape when we have the ax3 e2 type structure that means that this molecule is going to be what's called t-shaped and when you have a t-shaped uh, molecule the bond angles are going to be approximately equal to uh, 90 degrees and 180 degrees. All right. In terms of hybridization, looking at the central atom, you have one, two, three, four, five different electron groups or uh, potential bonding sites or locations. So that means that we'll need five orbitals. So we need to have sp3d hybrid. Okay, so 1s, 3ps, and 1d, so that's five total orbitals for five electron groups. And due to the fact that we have these non-bonding electrons here, that is going to make this a polar compound. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know, and thanks for watching.